SSC uh, result released and uh, one of my friend's son did not do well in SSC exam. And the person, uh, name is Jaid Hussain. The person is the biographer of my son, Shubon Isaac, who got recognition from President Obama for uh, being able to solve peace level math, physics, and chemistry problem. Uh, but that's not the story I want to share with you. Jaid Hassan's son got bad GPA in SSC exam in Bangladesh. He asked me to write a letter to his son, Shajid Hassan, so that Shajid Hassan can feel better because Shajid Hassan started feeling sick ever since he received his SSC result because he thought his parent would eventually do something bad to him. His parent dream was to uh, have Shajid get into a big university like Dhaka University or Kuwait and that will pave the way for Shajid Hussain uh, to get into Ivy League like those of you who get into. So my job was to inspire Shadi Hussain, the son of Jahid Hassan. So I didn't know what to do. Uh, Sometimes I write, I write for uh, Huffington Post. So I was thinking how to inspire this boy, a boy of 15 year old who, who is uh, now under an impression of giving up. So I chose a special location, Papin Hall of Columbia University. Recently I got accepted at Columbia University to pursue my doctoral. I chose Papin Hall to write that letter because Papin Hall, I chose a special chair of Papin Hall where two physics teachers, Fermi and Liu Sijert, collaborated how to use Einstein E equal MC square to make atomic bomb. So I chose that table and I wrote that letter. And I sent that letter to Huffington Post. I thought Huffington Post would never publish that letter because this is a very personal letter. A letter to, to a father with broken heart for his son to help him believe that he doesn't have to give up with bad GP, he still can get into Dhaka University or Kuwait or even Ivy League, like those of you who got into. So I wrote my story, I divided my story in three parts. Part one, math is the language of science. The part two, fall in love with math and science and part three, never give up. So part one, I help him understand that why he has to uh, uh, focus on math and I help him also understand I wrote that uh, starting from Sir Isaac Newton that one day Sir Isaac Newton 1665 sitting under an apple tree all of a sudden he saw an apple from fall from above and with the fall of the apple he changed the history of science he invented calculus to solve that falling apple problem and used that calculus to lay the foundation of physics. So math is very important for science, especially physics. And then I wrote uh, why he doesn't have to give up by sharing my story. My story is not a good story. I earned, as Bobby said, five bachelor degree, not because I like to, but because to accomplish my dream when I earned my first bachelor degree from your college long time ago I applied to Columbia University and I got rejection. So what I did I pursued my second bachelor degree from from uh, uh, from City College in economics and I applied to Columbia University again and I got rejection and now I decided and then I decided to pursue my masters and I got it from Brooklyn College and I applied to Columbia University again and I got rejection. And then I got into Limon College and I got my degree, first degree in math and second degree in computer science and third degree in physics. 
I think I'm the only student of Lehman College who got three bachelor degree from same college in math, physics, computer science, and one is also minoring in education, and I had a chance to take it class with him. And at one point, Lemon College uh, put my picture on his banner uh, in Lemon College cam campus in, uh, in front of a library. So I told him my story to inspire him. And then after I earned those degrees, I applied to Columbia again and I got rejection. However, I made it to New York University at that time and I got a big scholarship, $80,000 scholarship. And I earned my master's from New York University and I applied to PhD program at Columbia again. This time I got it. So, so I told Shajid that you never give up. Give up is not an option. Now his father informed me, by the way, the Huffington Post somehow published my article and I like to believe that it will change Shajid Hussain's life and one day Shajid Hussain will be not only in Dhaka University or Buet, but also will that Dhaka University or Buet will pave the way for him to get into Ivy League, like those of you who uh, who made it to Ivy League. And once again, congratulations to those of you who made it to Ivy League. And those of you didn't make it, please understand that you have what it takes to make it to Ivy League. Just don't give up. And finally, I'd like to thank Mamun Tutorial for, uh, for making it happen. Thank you, Mamun Tutorial.